Hello everyone, my name is Uthris, and welcome to some more Stone Hearth on the channel. I'm going to be making a new save, and a new environment, and everything. We are going to be using the Ace mod pack, just as the previous little recordings there. Uh, this one, you know, I'm hoping to go through just at normal difficulty, and make a pretty successful town. Um... Uh, Astronar is was successful I think uh, we did that on stream a good bit and I want to make something new I don't know um, what kind of theme we'll get into but we will see as we start a new save so Northern Alliance again these are these are kind of a newer race and I might try and use them this time um, think of them as just simple Nordic or um, Celtic in nature and since we're kind of doing that theme and banished a little bit why not why not do that here um we could do arctic as a region or highlands you know let's let's see what the highlands might do the white rock plateau and then we'll set this to normal and we'll select our roster as you can see bit bit spooky stuff going on in the background this might take a little bit of time, but I do want to roll for some good people here in the save. And unlike normal, I think I'm going to give my character, my own character, because I always have, you know, a representation of me in here. Um, and usually I'm the carpenter, um, but I wouldn't mind being kind of a more military figure. This person... It's a passionate carpenter, so we'll, we'll kind of keep that person around, so that's fine. Let's see if I can find, like, a passionate soldier or something like that. I definitely want to be, like, a footman, so I'm a... Hey, I like eating. I love eating. Um, this guy looks pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and name him Uthris. Of course, if you guys want to join um, the town, just let me know in the comments down below, and we'll also throw you in... and name a character after you. I can't promise you'll get the kind of, uh... Oh man, those are some nice mustaches. Can't promise that you'll get the correct, um... That's, that's pretty cool, I like that. There we go, hair color. I have light brown hair, so let me find that. I don't really have any facial hair, but the Uthris persona does so yeah we're gonna go military general with that big bushy mustache there there we go so what type of caravan are we are we metal masters i mean we're gonna be in the valley do we want to be just kind of starting with blacksmith and miner um we could let's do that Isn't Blacks is Blacksmith like an evolved form of stonemason? I have a feeling it is, and that's a little harder. This might be a harder start. Hmm. You know what? I'm fine with it. Let's do something like here. I think this is good. Uh, that looked a little bit wide enough. That looked like I had better green uh, sources, and we still get the mountains. And there's some water element in there, so that looks okay to me. So we'll just load in here. Okay. So these are the highlands. This is drastically different than what I usually build in. This area looks pretty promising in terms of buildability. Buildability. Well, this valley back here looks kind of cool too. Very well protected, probably. Mm. Little ruins and stuff. Which are pretty nice. Like, look at this. It's like an old tower. And another fallen down tower. So, you know, maybe some ancient fortifications were here at one time. Honestly, this valley is kind of the best. 
and if maybe we do something with mountainside could be cool so I think we will settle here okay cool so first things first we need some storage we need to lay out some bulk storage to allow people to uh, get that stuff. We're going to go ahead and harvest just about everything we can in the local area. I kind of want to leave that ruin there. So we'll harvest all this stuff. I don't know what a lot of this is. Looks kind of interesting though. Oh, we got some berry bushes. That's definitely good for us, having a little bit of a food source. So we don't have any farmers to start. Okay. So we'll play for a moment while we decide on what to do with our population. So Uthrists. Uh, let's see, change jobs. So blacksmith appears to be a tier one job. That's not too bad. So we need to find someone to temporarily turn it into a blacksmith. Uh, it's probably gonna be the carpenter because we need a blacksmith to be able to um, make a carpenter saw, I believe. So we'll let him do that. Go ahead and make a furnace. Now we need some clay. Ooh, and a cooker spoon. So we need some clay. So we might need to kind of make a little bit of a mine earlier rather than later. If we take a look here, you can see there's some copper exposed. Some also some iron. Um, there's some coal back here. So should we kind of climb up? Uh, oh, a woman. Okay, scout elaborate. Nobody saw her arrive, but it's clear that she's been watching for some time. Welcome! The voice is strangled as if it's plain. She pulled her color away from her throat, revealing a mess of old scar. Okay. I scout. Oh, star-shaped brooch on her cloak for Valen's library. So this is, this is a different storyline than the uh, normal. She speaks much with her hands and eyes as her voice. Glad you have come to study and settle. Now that I know you're here, I will send tales of your learnings to the scholars at home. All right, I need to choose a banner. Um, mining is 50% more armor, stone, and clay. Hearthlings no longer mine cramped spaces. Banner strength sounds pretty good. Banner cunning. Um, Traders bring two times the goods in gold. Normally I do like vitality. But I'm gonna do strength this time. We're gonna we're a hardy northern people here, um, and we're gonna call ourselves Northreach. Outpost established, Northreach, and we're good to go. So I need to temporarily make someone else a miner. I guess I I could be a miner for a bit. That might you know buff up my arms, right? So that'll be okay. And then we'll turn the tailor currently into the mason. And then we will go ahead. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make the mine, I think, right into the side of this hill. I think that's a cool spot for it to kind of like come over and walk your way up to it. It might also hopefully, oh, hunting, okay. It might hopefully um, assist with um, keeping it safe because it's kind of on its own little plateau. There's some skunks up there though, so I don't know how safe it's really gonna be. So I need to kind of carve staircases out of this. Um, how wide do I want to go? It's kind of always the first question when you make staircases. So let's do... Kind of like this. We'll have a three wide step down. 
Yep. Uh huh. That's okay. And we'll go kind of like this. So we ended up being four wide, right? Just simply due to this extra piece here. But that's not too bad. So we'll we'll have a staircase kind of like that, just kind of arching its way. Actually, I don't, I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna re replan this a little bit because we might, we might have to plan it from the top down, right? So let's do the top like that. So here, um, so let's just go ahead and carve this pretty much all the way down to four. Uh, I did this wrong. Sometimes this is, can be a little difficult. One, two, three, four, right? So four by four, kind of entry point there. Then four, 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 kind of like that. Four and four. And what we'll, this will do is we'll kind of make a railing over here and over to there. So it's technically a three wide path, um, but it'll have a good my opinion, step up to the next level. Actually, I'm gonna make it one wider because I wouldn't mind building supports on this side of it. So there's some steps. If you think about it, I probably could have just made the starting point here, but, but whatever. Is, is what it is sometimes. So here, Leave a bit of space. So we're going to come up into here. Start making a new little staircase or else, you know, they're not gonna be able to really get up here. Oh, nope, don't do that, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That will, I think, function. So we're gonna accept both of those, and in the meantime, we'll just make some storage near it, just so they don't have to run back as far. And we'll go ahead and play. Go ahead and craft. So again, waiting on clay, that's okay. Our people are having a little bit of a party. Our mountainside people. Wow, they even have different outfits. Like this is the minor outfit, you can see. So like I have like this little hard hat on. I got some some warm trousers, you know, thicker clothes it looks like. We got a gift. We got uh, fruit spirit, peasant bread, all right. Mead, roast sausage, corn and carrot juice. Okay. Uh, written down the name of brief account in the inhabitants, Northreach, she intones by Villain's wisdom and under the watchful eyes of the stars above, be committed to record to the records of the library. That works. All right. Bows, farewell, and off she goes. Okay, I now can make the blacksmith crucible now. We're gonna need a mason's workbench and a splitting block as well. 
And we'll just go ahead, go into the furniture. We'll go ahead and place, what's this? Dig water well. To have access to clean, oh, wow, this is, that's new. Okay, that's kind of cool. So blacksmith furnace. How do I rotate these? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, oh, with the period, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. So we'll go ahead and get a furnace. That, we need a crucible. As well. A chopping block, so these are kind of like the beginning crafting area things. Now for the blacksmith, um, I'm not gonna get an anvil for a little bit, so I guess in the meantime, um, we'll just craft some copper ingots. And some tin. And then at the chopping block, can I make firewood? I can. So we'll get some firewood too. Um, and if I go to the masons, interesting that the mason makes firewood. It's probably a requirement since they added like the additional fuel costs there. Um, we need to make a couple beds. But we kind of need a mason level two to make those. So maybe like five stone coffers. Could be nice. Am I mining? Oh god, I'm already done. Okay, Uthrit, you don't you don't mess around. You just skipping, having a good time. All right, it's already kind of end of day one, so we already got that dug out. I'm actually rather shocked. Okay, so if, if we're building up here, why don't I just move this up here, anyways? Um. Let's go and set up the mine. Oh, let's remove those. So we're gonna do like an entrance kind of like that. And then we'll probably hand carve some stuff as well eventually. And let's uh, slice down a bit, kind of like this. And we will dig into the actual hillside here. And we'll make a bit of a main chamber. like that and then yes yep that's fine that is fine we need more firewood probably so what does the miner skills do so if I if I look at Uthrus right and I go to mining and look at job abilities uh, level two, uh, I can fit two extra items. Okay, uh, advanced mining techniques. Um, so mining effectiveness increase. Something shiny, uh-huh. So it looks like I get like a headlamp thing. Extra compartments, more more speed. Um, maximum mining efficiency, maximum mining efficiency, <laughs> maximum mining efficiency. So. I mean, the, a miner actually digs really fast. Okay, this is this is part of the mod. This is part of the Ace expansion mod. Uh, most most otherwise, you'll be kind of just using the standard digging in the game. So did we make? Okay, so make seven more of these. I guess. Or where is uh where's my blacksmith? You my where's my blacksmith at? 
You, you passed out over here, Guinevere Hansen. Hansen. I like your little blacksmith uh, kind of decoration headpiece there. It's pretty cool. Um, let's make some stone bed frames as well. Um, I don't know if that will... Bone material. Interesting. I don't know if that will really, uh, you know, be useful for them, but maybe if we provide that, they might be able to sleep on it. That might be cool. Totem's kind of cool. Stone brazier. There's bone materials to work with here. Kind of scary. Oh, I can make like bone hatchets using this person and giant bone mace. But I really need, I need to get to a carpenter so that I can um, make Uther's an actual soldier. We're gonna have a lot of mining to do. Like a lot, like how long until I can get a carpenter? So here's the carpenter's, oh, that's the steel saw. Here's the standard one. It requires a blacksmith level three. So we're a little ways away from that. We're also gonna craft a cook spoon. Like an herbalist pewter mortar. That's kind of cool. Increase the herb herbalist there. That would be cool. So we're gonna craft more of this. Speed up time. Miner level three, advanced mining techniques. He can mine even quicker. Mason level two. Go ahead and place down some of these beds. Or maybe not. Did, did they even finish making it? No, still making uh, some chests. Bone carving studio. We'll make one, I don't know. Cook spoon. Sure, we technically need one of those. Potter's cutter, sure, we need one of those. Daily update. We're not wealthy enough yet. Goblin with a bucket. Approaches. I found this bucket in the trash. That must be yours. This, this doesn't fit my head. Points out his own head. Uh, throws a bucket on there and kicks it and goes away angry. <laughs> Did I just gain a bucket? Yes. Required to promote a hearthling into a fisher. Interesting. Well, thanks for the bucket there, guy. I appreciate that. Stone production ton. Temporary store storage for 32 items. Tons are able to hold different items as long as they're in the same category. Interesting. Used by crafters to store recently finished products. That's kind of nice, I would say. Small pasture bedding, stone water well parts. Okay, for upgrading uh, a small well. A lot more items. These are like counters for shops. That's kind of cool. Okay. We're probably not going to build many structures this episode. This episode, we're going to be worrying about kind of relearning some stuff. And how we are going to grow the population and also deal with getting the first set of... I guess you could say beginning tools so that we have a variety of things to work with. Okay, so now we're making some tin. So we can actually craft like two bronze. Could be cool. And I think the saw requires iron. Which is like, uh, it's gonna be a little, just a little bit until that. We'll craft a herbalist thing. That's okay. And here's some armor, anchor decorations, blacksmith wall mounted sign. 
We can place down some bed frames for our people. Good. And we'll we'll give them some foot lockers. Some personal storage out here. We can add thatch, which would be good. We have thatch. Did I finish digging this out? No, I did not yet. Might need to put some storage here though. Just so that they use it. What am crafting a bone carving studio? Okay, that's what he's making. Level one blacksmith, halfway to level two. Really trying to get our, our value up. Our net worth is 208. We need 275 to get another citizen. We have enough editables. Let's attach thatch to all these beds. Just to make them more comfortable. So making a cook spoon. Okay. Yew tree sees birch tree dwarves. Beard can be planted or rough fiber that can also be used as thatch. We kind of have enough thatch right now, I would say. I'm thinking that I'm gonna build a town up here. I'm gonna build like buildings hanging off this thing. I'm gonna be building like kind of like a a blacksmith village. You know, because that's kind of the focus of this race, it seems, and the starting thing that we did. Um, I like that glove. It's a cool looking glove. Oh yeah, we have a cook now, don't we? I need to go ahead and get their crafting stations underway too. A little bit of a mill grinder. Brewing ingredients, drinks and beverages, animal feed. Look at that. They were just having a good little nap. Still no enemies, so it's still pretty safe. We are pretty exposed, but eventually that should get cleaned up a bit. And we're done digging. I'm gonna go ahead and place a couple chests. Like here and here. That'll be for some more ore. This will be the actual raw ore location, I think. And then we'll do some more refined ore storage. Actually, we're gonna move these to the corner. We're just gonna kind of tuck them in there. I think that'll look nice for a temporary solution. There we go. And then over here by the stonemason, we can uh, we'll kind of combine them. I'll put them side by side like that. Oh, you're thirsty? Daily update. Food. Net worth. Good. Get another person. Magnus Tharon. Traits. Uh, what do you like, Magnus? Night Owl. Okay. So 
So resources... I guess... Charcoal? This one will be a uh, stone, and this one will be probably stone. Just double stone. So we can make a trapper's knife. But we need a mason's pedal still first. And we need to probably get some more firewood at this point. Or wood in general. This one. Yeah, any fuel. Any fuel. Fuels can go in here. Blacksmith, have you made anything yet? Alright, I think you made the kiln. It's a nice bulky item. So we'll throw that there. Got the uh, cook's cauldron to put down. And the millstone. Masonry area. Okay, so we can make charcoal now. Can we make iron? Do we even have iron ore? We do! So I can make three iron bars. Which will allow us to make the blacksmith anvil. Okay. Which I'm pretty sure is required to make anything out of iron. So our camp is underway. I need a new bed frame and stuff. Can I just go straight to stone beds? Probably could. Let's craft uh, three of them now. And that way we can have some room for expansion. And we should be pretty well off, I think at this point. And this is a good foundation for episode one. So. Thanks everyone for coming out and uh, checking out this little first episode. If you enjoyed it, definitely subscribe for more creative goodness such as this. Leave a like if you want to see more Stone Hearth on the channel. Uh, comment if you want to join the town and I'll add you as a citizen. And if you have any ideas for things to make or other strategies, let me know that as well. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.